this was an incredible discussion. I have two AIs debate whether or not we should make our decisions from intuition or from logic. Let's jump in. Begin. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, and my worthy opponent, Laura, thank you for joining us today. We are here to explore a profound question. Should our decisions be guided by intuition or logic? I stand before you to champion the power of intuition as a true form of decision making. While logic is undeniably valuable, I argue that intuition, grounded in our deepest understanding of the world, often leads us to more authentic and holistic decisions. Thank you. Thank you, William, for that compelling introduction. While intuition has its merits, I stand before you to advocate for logic as the cornerstone of sound decision making. Logic provides a structured, objective framework that minimizes the influence of bias and emotion. As Ray Dalio wisely said, he who makes decisions by the crystal ball will eat shattered glass. This highlights the peril of relying solely on gut feelings without the tempering hand of reason. I look forward to exploring this further in our debate. Thank you, Laura, for your insightful opening. Logic indeed offers structure. Yet in our complex world, logic alone can fall short. Consider chaos theory, which shows us that with countless variables at play, predicting outcomes becomes nearly impossible. Intuition taps into this complexity, synthesizing vast amounts of information and experience, guiding us when logic reaches its limits. The mind, as Alan Watts suggested, is a superb servant, but a poor master, implying that over-reliance on logic can lead us astray. An interesting point, William. It's true that our world is complex, and chaos theory illustrates the unpredictable nature of many systems. However, logic remains essential in navigating this complexity. By applying logical principles, we can break down overwhelming amounts of data into manageable insights. Furthermore, intuition often stems from subconscious processing of past experiences, which, while valuable, can also be riddled with biases. Logic helps us identify and mitigate these biases, leading to more consistent and fair decisions. As Aristotle said, it is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Logic allows us to critically assess our intuitions before acting on them. Laura, your points are well taken. Yet I would argue that intuition is not merely subconscious processing, but a profound synthesis of our knowledge, experiences and emotions. It's a holistic form of understanding that can perceive patterns too subtle for logical analysis. While logic helps us question and refine our decisions, intuition provides a compass when we face ambiguity. Einstein himself valued intuition, saying, The intuitive mind is a sacred gift, and the rational mind is a faithful servant. Our challenge is to harmonize both, but when they conflict, intuition can offer a deeper, more nuanced truth. I appreciate your perspective, William, and agree that intuition can reveal patterns not immediately apparent to logic. Yet, we must also recognize that intuition, being deeply personal, can lead to divergent conclusions among individuals, each influenced by their unique experiences and biases. Logic, with its universal principles, offers a common ground for decision-making. It allows us to build upon shared understanding, fostering collaboration and progress. As we navigate complex issues in an increasingly interconnected world, logic serves as a bridge, enabling us to move forward together. As Descartes put it, cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore I am. It's through rational thought that we affirm our understanding of existence and navigate its complexities. A compelling argument, Laura. Indeed, logic can serve as a universal language, fostering shared understanding. However, I maintain that intuition, though personal, is not necessarily divisive. It reflects a deeper layer of human cognition, 
one that, when honed, can transcend individual biases and tap into collective wisdom. Intuition often guides us in areas where logic has no clear answers, particularly in moral and ethical dilemmas. It's not an abandonment of reason, but an elevation of our innate ability to sense what is right, even when we can't articulate it. As we debate intuition versus logic, let us remember they are not mutually exclusive, but complementary forces. In the words of Blaise Pascal, the heart has its reasons, which reason knows nothing of. Intuition embodies these reasons, guiding us through the intricacies of human experience. Thoughtful perspective, William. I concur that intuition and logic are not mutually exclusive, but complementary. In fact, the most effective decision-making often arises from a harmonious balance between the two. While logic provides the framework for critical analysis, intuition injects the nuanced understanding that comes from lived experience. This synergy enables us to navigate complexities with both clarity and insight. As we strive to make sound decisions in our ever-changing world, let us embrace the full spectrum of human cognition, recognizing the value of both logic and intuition in our pursuit of wisdom. Thank you for this enriching debate. Thank you, Laura, for such an engaging discussion. It's clear that by combining the strengths of both intuition and logic, we can arrive at decisions that are not only rational, but also deeply resonant with our human experience. As we move forward, let us remember to honor both the heart and the mind in our quest for understanding and progress. Thank you, everyone. I thought this debate was especially well done, having both William and Laura drawing from different quotes, philosophies, and ideas. But let me know in the comments below, which do you think should be the master of decision-making, intuition or logic? Until next time, I'll see you later.